Hello YouTube, it's Rasfano. I'm on day 40 of NoFap, right? It's been a long road, bro. Um, had some relapses, had some close calls, you know. Uh, uh, as I say, lost a couple battles, you know what I mean? But I'm on day 40, right? And the reason I'm making this video, I always gotta stay true to NoFap, because I had said before, it's my Zion Williamson my Luka Doncic, my John Morant. It's like a key piece of this championship team I'm trying to build in my life when relating it to my life. NoFab is like the, the star player, bro. He's the young star player, bro. That's what NoFab is in my life. The Zion, the Luka, the Ja. That's what he is. The Jason Tatum. That's what he is, right? NoFab is a key component in the rebuilding of my life, bro. And it should be for every man. It's a key piece. And the reason I say that because I have been on a long uh, streak with NoFab year and a half something like that i relapsed kept relapsing couldn't um i couldn't get a streak going bro i kept relapsing because it was like the the things that had worked beforehand weren't working for me anymore bro it was it was like it was like two times more tough it's like relapsing on drugs or relapsing on an addiction and then trying to use those same tricks it's like your body has become immune to them it's like a disease you know that that uh like some antibiotic, it starts to like develop a, uh, a resistance to it or whatever, right? It, it evolves. That's how I felt like pornography, my uh, masturbation addiction, all that stuff. It evolved, bro. And then recently I got on a 40-day streak, right? And I'm realizing the, the, the benefits that I took for granted when I was on NoFap for so long. Because that's one of the main things. People look up, what does NoFap do, right? A lot of people practice NoFap. A lot of people want to practice it. Um, a lot of people are trying to, which is good, but it's like people always ask, what are the benefits? And the one thing that is consistent across, like if you look up NoFab, the main benefit that you'll see with consistency is confidence. And I had made a video, which I think is true. I think NoFab does bring confidence, but I think I had made a video about scarcity and abundance and it was about confidence. I didn't bring up NoFab, but bro, when you jack off, right? When you masturbate, you're reaffirming to yourself that you don't get women, right? You're reaffirming you don't get pussy. You you watch porn. You need to watch pixels on a screen. You're tricking your brain. I already talked about this. You're tricking your brain into thinking that the pixels on a screen are pornography or are real women. You're, you're tricking your brain into thinking pornography is real women. It's real sex, right? And so I had already said how why would you even want to improve if you already have everything you want, right? You have all these women. You're watching crazy videos foot jobs dominatrix all this crazy shit right anything you want you can get it's the easy way out right you don't actually have to face the music and face your flaws to be able to become a man that is confident to be able to come become all these things that you want to become because you're taking the easy way out and that's the the difficulty with social media and the ease the uh easiness of like obtaining pornography and all these pleasures is that it's an easy way out we're cutting corners nowadays especially as men with pornography but i had said um with confidence how it's coming from a place of scarcity right you don't already have it so you feel like you need to watch porn and do all these things and i said with confidence confidence is the opposite confidence isn't needy confidence is fine in its own company it doesn't need to be anything other than what it is and i had said that that is a place of abundance right and that is that is real confidence think about a confident man that gets women he gets women because women see him as um, an abundant man. He has women in abundance, so he doesn't view uh, a, a certain woman on a pedestal, right? And I had said with the pedestal effect, you place something on a pedestal, it has already overcome you, right? Because you're looking up to it no matter what you do, you cannot overcome that. And so um, I have related this with no fat. Because if you just keep watching porn and all this stuff, you you will be stuck in a in a position of objectifying women. And the reason I say that, like, this isn't an original thought. Everybody will say, like, the main thing, well, pornography objectifies women. And that's true, right? But the main problem with that that I saw personally within myself is that whenever I was watching porn, because I went on a mad streak, bro. I went on a mad streak, blood, right? I was watching porn, bro. I'm not even going to say it because it's like, like, I'm not going to say it. But I was watching some crazy videos <laughs> and like and that's the thing with porn, bro, is is you you start to get so refined with what you what you want to watch. Right. You start watching like crazy, like tentacle stuff. I'm not saying I did that, bro, because I didn't. But I'm saying that because it gets so refined 
that it gets to a point where it leaks into um, your real world, right? Like, if you have erectile dysfunction, one of the main things with erectile dysfunction, I've been there, is that what I think, at least, this is my theory, is that you you view this woman, right? You've tricked your mind into thinking that this girl is, is uh, or that pornography is real. So you become so refined with your searches. You're on page 48 on Pornhub trying to find the perfect video then whenever you get with an actual woman you can't just click on the next video that's a real woman but your brain is like ah, not good enough you become like so um yeah particular about the things that turn you on because you have such an abundance of it right but it's fake it's fake you this is coming from a place of scarcity where you know that you can't actually get the things that you're watching or whatever but the reason i say that is is because in real life right when you start objectifying women bro you come off as needy, which is the opposite of confident. This is why I say that no fat brings confidence. Genuine, real confidence helps you build that because whenever you see a woman in real life, you aren't watching porn the day before the day of objectifying a woman, having this needy energy because it's an energy, bro. It's a feeling thing. Like, like if, if when it comes to genuine confidence, it's a feeling thing. Patrice O'Neill, he's a comedian. Um, who had passed away rest in peace funny dude philosophical smart guy right he had talked about like you could be a, 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 a an ugly looking dude a fat dude but if you come off with like an energy like like that a girl can feel she'll be like yo why do i feel like this dude should fuck me and this is what patrice o'neill said right it's an energy thing it's a feeling thing because you're not coming off as needy and a lot of men what pornography does it objectifies women right you start objectifying women which comes off as needy you feel like you need to do all these things which is the opposite of confidence this is why i say um when you stop watching porn right and you stop objectifying women you give yourself like a chance to actually be genuine and talk to to this person or this um this girl or whatever and not be needy which is to say you come off more confident bro because you don't have necessarily an end goal in mind you don't have an objective girls can see right through that bro women can see right through that you come off as needy you come off as a porn addict bro they see right through that they see your you, they see right through your hands right it's like they see through your cars they know what you're trying to do and boom bro you're not going to get any girls you're not going to be an authentic person bro that's why I say no fat builds confidence. And this is uh, why I say no fat because confidence is going to help you get girls. And this is why I say no fat will help you attract women, bro, rather than um, coming off as this needy guy like, oh, oh, oh. And you view them as intimidating too, bro, because you have this. Um, and this is where the pedestal thing comes into effect. You you are have this expectation that you're putting on this woman, which is sex, because you're objectifying her because you've been watching porn, bro. And that's where it's like you beat yourself and this is why a lot of um porn addicts and a lot of men nowadays are very socially awkward especially with uh women and stuff and i am too bro don't get it twisted but it's like how can you not be socially awkward when you go into every interaction with a woman and you're like trying to be something because you want something in return when in reality it's it's just life like you're able to be an authentic human rather than be this porn addict and all this stuff. But anyway, man, it's Raz Fano. Peace.